A music night tonight celebrating the Queen of Soul, Aretha Franklin, a biopic of her extraordinary life and great archive performances starting in half an hour here on BBC Two. Hello and welcome to Christmas University Challenge, where we're about to play the second of this year's semi-finals. Last time, the alumni from Corpus Christi, Oxford, beat four graduates of Royal Holloway, London, to claim their place in the series final. And whoever wins tonight will join them. The team from Bangor University beat Dundee in their first round heat and qualified for these semi-finals with the second highest score of the round. They were notably quick on the buzzer and made light work of bonus questions on chemical elements, Pablo Picasso and pop music. A set on the 1968 Olympics was the only one that left them completely stumped. They're fielding the same team again tonight, which includes an ecologist and conservationist who chairs the England Species Reintroduction Task Force, a best-selling author of young adult and fantasy fiction, the current independent chief inspector of borders and immigration, and the Plaid Cymru MP for Arvon. Let's hear them introduce themselves for the second time. Hi, I'm Andy Clements. I graduated from Bangor in 1976 in zoology and with a PhD in 1980. Hi, I'm Juno Dawson. I graduated with a BSc in psychology in 2002. And their captain? Hi, I'm David Neal. I graduated in 1993 with a degree in English literature. Hello, I'm Howell Williams. I qualified in social work in Bangor in 1981. The team from Middlesex University returned tonight, having convincingly beaten the University of Leeds in round one by 175 points to 115. Like their opponents tonight, they were very impressive on the buzzer, as well as in bonus rounds on tennis, environmental science, and the films of Billy Friedkin. Though they did look less than thrilled when asked to read musical scores for UK Christmas number one singles. Their captain, Mr. Skinner, was very regretfully unable to return for this match. So tonight, their lineup consists of a lecturer, author, and broadcaster on art and architectural history, a crossbench member of the House of Lords, noted for her work on eliminating modern slavery, a Turner Prize nominated artist, poet and filmmaker, and a music writer, television presenter and magazine mogul. Let's meet them once again. Hi, my name's David Heathcote. I graduated from Middlesex University with a degree in Contemporary Cultural Studies in 1982 and a PhD in Architectural History in 2007. I'm Lola Young, and I graduated from Middlesex with a PhD in 1992 in Film and Cultural Studies. And their captain? I'm Heather Phillipson, and I graduated with a PhD in Fine Art Practice in 2008. I'm David Hepworth. I studied Drama and Education and graduated in 1972. Well, I think you all know the rules by now, don't you? Uh, remember, just bear in mind that you cannot confer on starter questions. And when you do confer on bonus questions, talk loudly, because it's quite nice to hear your ruminations. And remember that for bonus questions, uh, answers should be given by your captain unless they clearly nominate someone else. All clear? Feeling good? Fingers on buzzers then. Here's your first starter for 10. Good luck. In 1789, John Jay became the first person appointed to what position, whose holder traditionally administers the oath of office to the President of the United States? John Roberts, the current holder, was appointed... Uh, Middlesex Hepworth, Chief Justice of the Supreme Court. That's absolutely right. Yes, well done. Your bonuses, Middlesex, are three questions on actors who have appeared in episodes of the TV show Black Mirror. Which actor appeared as Matt Trent in the 2014 episode, White Christmas? He had previously played Don Draper in the TV show, Mad Men. It's John, it's John, it's John, John Hamm. Hamm. John Hamm. John Hamm. John Hamm. Correct. Who plays Robert Daly, a programmer who cast himself as the captain of a spaceship within an online simulation in the 2017 episode, USS Callister? He later appeared in The Power of the Dog, alongside his then fiance Kirsten Dunst. No, I don't know. I don't know. Do you know? I don't know. Oh, no, it's... Oh, God, what's his name? Pass. 
Pass. I can't remember. I'll tell you, it's Jesse Plemons. Finally, which actor appeared as Lacey Pound in the 2016 episode Nosedive, where she and others strive to improve their social ratings based on interactions with one another? She also played Claire Deering in the Jurassic World series of films. Pass. Is Bryce Dallas Howard. Now, start a question. Robert Duncanson, Susie Barstow, and Harriet Caney Peel were landscape painters associated with which 19th century American art movement founded by Thomas Cole and named after a geographical feature in New York State? Middle Sex Heathcote. Hudson River. Yes, it's the Hudson River School. Well done. You're yeah, terribly unsure for someone who got that right. Uh, your bonuses then are three questions on lakes in Switzerland. What is the largest lake entirely within Switzerland? It shares its name with a city founded with the Latin name Novum Castellum and known in German as Neuenburg. Would it be Zurich or um, Geneva, Geneva, Lake? Is it? No, it's not, is it? Is it Lucerne? Yeah. I think it's Lake Le Mans. Lake Le Mans? Lake Le Mans. No, that was Lake Neuchâtel. Mm -hmm. Associated with the legend of William Tell and the founding of the Swiss Confederation, the Lake of the Four Cantons is commonly known by the name of what city southwest of Zurich? Lucerne. Is it Lucerne? Lucerne. Correct. What large lake is situated at the point where Switzerland, Austria and Germany meet? In German, it is known as the Bodensee. Lake Constance. Lake Constance. Correct, yes. Things and buzzers, here's another start for 10. Species belonging to which broad kingdom of life are the origin of major classes of pharmaceutical drugs, including echinocandins, strobilurins, and statins? Other compounds derived from them include the deadly toxin, alpha aminitin, and the psychedelic psilocybin. Middle Sex Philipson. Fungi. It is fungi, yes. Well done. Your bonuses are on shorter words that can be made using the six letters of the word manger. Give each word from the definition. First, the SI prefix that denotes a factor of 10 to the 6 or 1 million. It's manger. I've got to use all the letters. Yeah. MN. MN. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's mega. Uh, Secondly, oh, from oh, Arabic via French, a short word meaning an area of actively shifting sand dunes, such as the Isuane sand sea in Algeria or the Chebi and Chigaga dune seas in Morocco. Bridge. Is it Merg? No, did it say Erg? Erg. Or range. What, what state is it? I don't know. I thought they called Ergs. Erg. Erg. Well done, it is Erg, yes. Finally, a Japanese loan word that means a dish of wheat flour noodles served in broth or soup. Ramen. It is ramen, yeah, well done. <laughs> Fingers and buzzers, here's another starter. And this is a picture round. For your picture starter, you'll see a photograph of the interior of a building. For 10 points, identify the city in which this building is located. Banger Clements. Coventry. No. Middlesex Heathcote. Liverpool. Liverpool is correct. That was Liverpool's Metropolitan Cathedral, designed by Sir Frederick Gibbard, consecrated in 1967. For your picture bonuses, you'll see photographs of the interiors of three more cathedrals consecrated in the 1960s, alongside a map indicating their location within the UK. Five points for each you can identify. First, this cathedral consecrated in 1961. Oh, the book. Maybe it's Coventry. No, it's not. No, it's not Coventry. Oh, it's right. Oh, gosh. St. Albans. No, no, it's south of London. Where's the map? No, it's Don't know. Oh, it's Basingstoke. Guildford. 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 Correct. Second, achieving cathedral status in 1919, the east end of this building was consecrated in 1963. Is that, is that Coventry? No, is that, that's not Coventry. No? It's in the, look at the map. Oh. It's in the middle, because it's no. in the middle of the middle, is it not? Coventry's no? like Do you think it's Coventry? No. Come on. Just say, if, if you've got an alternative, no. we'll just say Coventry. David. Then. Coventry, say Coventry. Coventry. No, it's Bradford. And finally, Bradford. consecrated in 1962. That's Coventry, surely. That's Coventry. 
Coventry. Coventry. Correct. Yeah. Plenty of time, Bang. Let's see if we get going with this one. Despite an earthquake in 1917, which capital city and World Heritage Site has, according to UNESCO, the best preserved, least altered historic center in Latin America? It stands at an altitude of 2,850. Middlesex Philipson. Lima. No, I'm afraid you lose five points. It stands at an altitude of 2,850 meters and was founded on the slopes of the Pachincha volcano on the ruins of an Inca city. Thank you, Clements. Quito. Quito is correct, yes, well done. Your bonuses then, Banger, are three questions on mathematical notation. The now standard notation of a lowercase f followed by an x in brackets for the value of a function of x is among the many contributions to mathematical notation made by which mathematician born in Basel in 1707? Anyone? I scraped to see it, GCSE, no this one. No idea. Uh, and um, nominate Clements. Bernoulli. No, that was Leonard Euler. Euler also established which lowercase letter of the Latin alphabet as the standard symbol for the unit imaginary number, that is the square root of minus one? No idea. Uh, just go with one. Go with one. Pluck one out for one. No, it's I. Which uppercase letter of the Greek alphabet did Euler introduce to represent the sum of a set or sequence of terms? The same letter in lowercase represents the standard deviation of a distribution. Omega. Oh, that was my guess. Well. Omega. No, it's sigma. Now, let's start the question. In July 2023, in what sport did Limerick, the defending champions, beat Kilkenny to retain the All-Ireland Senior Championship trophy? Thank you, Neil. Hurling. It is hurling, yes. Your bonuses, Banger, are three questions on the 2023 Champion Beer of Britain. At the Great British Beer Festival, organised by the Campaign for Real Ale, the gold medal winner was 1872 Porter, brewed by Ellen Brewery in Calderdale, in which metropolitan county? West Yorkshire. <laughs> yes. The silver medal winner was Green King Abbott Ale, a premium bitter from which major barley growing county in eastern England? Suffolk. 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 Suffolk is correct. The bronze medal winner was Darwin's Origin, a session bitter from which inland English county? Charles Darwin was born there near the River Severn in 1809. Shropshire. 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 Correct. Another starter question now. The six continents, as represented by six sculptures of female figures, are located at the entrance of which European museum? The building itself was opened in 1900, functioned as a railway station until 1939, and now houses the largest collection of Impressionist art in the world. Middlesex Hepworth. Oh, I'm afraid, yeah, sorry, I lose, I lose five points, I'm afraid. I've got to pass it over. Largest collection of Impressionist art in the world. Baganil. The Louvre. No, that was the Musée d'Orsay. OK, figures and buzzers, here's another start of question. What given name links all of these? The singer of the 1978 dance hit, You Make Me Feel Mighty Real. The actor who played the lead role in the 1990... Middlesex Philipson. Sylvester. It is Sylvester, yes. As I think every, one of, every single member of your team knew. Three questions on the Japanese musician Ryuichi Sakamoto, who died in 2023. In the late 1970s, Sakamoto and two others formed which influential electronic music band known by the initials YMO? Yellow Magic Orchestra. Yes. Sakamoto starred alongside David Bowie in which 1983 film set partly in a prisoner of war camp? Merry Christmas, Mr. Lawrence. Correct. Sakamoto composed the score for which 2015 film directed by Alejandro Gonzalez Iñárritu? Set in the early 19th century, it stars Leonardo DiCaprio and Tom Hardy. It's the one about the bear. It's the one with the bear. The Revenant. Yeah, that's it. The, the Revenant. Revenant. The Revenant. It is The Revenant, yes. Now let's start the question now. And this is a music round. For your music starter, you're going to hear an early blues recording. For 10 points, name the singer. Middle Six Hepworth. Bessie Smith. It is Bessie Smith, yes. You just heard Downhearted Blues sung by Bessie Smith, her debut recording and breakthrough hit made 100 years ago this year. For your bonuses, you'll hear three more recordings from 1923, all of which are the first to feature notable jazz musicians. Five points for each you can identify. First, who is the pioneering pianist and band leader here making his recording debut? Pianist. 
Jelly with a and something else. Like that. Connor, I can't even hear it. Well, if it's a penis, I can't think of it. It's not Joe Carrington. Sorry? Joe Carrington. Joe Carrington. No, no, no. Go on. Don't go on. It's a guy who's running. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It could be Joe Carrington. Joe Carrington. Come on. Joe Carrington. Duke Ellington. Bad luck. It's Jelly Roll Morton. <laughs> Secondly, who's the clarinetist debuting on this piece? It's <laughs> Sidney Bechet. Sidney Bechet. Sidney Bechet. Yes. Finally, mm -hmm. name the soloist here. It's Louis Armstrong, sure. Is it Armstrong? Yeah, it's Louis Armstrong. Louis Armstrong. It is Louis Armstrong, yes. Let me start the question out. Which small structures in the human body contain a surfactant mixture whose major component, DPPC, reduces the surface tension at the air tissue interface? These balloon-like structures are located at the end of bronchioles and are the primary site... Banker Clements. Lung. No, I'm afraid you lose five points. ...are the primary site of gas exchange in mammals. You may not confer. You may not confer! <laughs> Buzz, if you want to have a go, you can't talk to each other about starter questions. Anyone want to have a go? No, I'll tell you. It's the alveoli. <laughs> Another starter question now. Whom did the US literary critic Harold Bloom describe as a superb craftsman, a lyric poet without rival, and surely one of the most advanced sceptical intellects ever to write a poem? Born in 1792, his works include The Mask of Anarchy, The Necessity of... Bang and Neil. Percy Shelley. It is Percy B. Shelley, yes, well done. Your bonuses, Banger, are three questions on British politics in 1923. Not that we're looking at you, Howell, at all. Uh, in May 1923, who replaced Bonner Law as Prime Minister following the latter's ill health? He was also Prime Minister during the abdication crisis of 1936. Oh, I did watch The Crown. <laughs> but... PM in 36. Six. Uh, Lloyd George. No. Lloyd George? He was Baldwin. Come on. In the December 1923 general election, the Conservatives emerged as the largest party but were unable to command a majority. Which politician then formed a government with the support of Asquith's Liberals? 1923. Ramsey MacDonald. MacDonald? Yeah, it's Ramsay MacDonald, yes. In the 1923 general election, who stood for the Liberal Party at Leicester West but lost to the Labour candidate? In the following year, he became Chancellor of the Exchequer under Baldwin. Philip Snowden. Snowden. And nominate Williams. Snowden? That was Churchill. Oh, that was right, another start of question. On the 9th of April 1947, the Small Shore Allotments Association was the audience of the first broadcast of which long running programme? <laughs> Bang a meal. The Archers. No, I'm afraid you lose five points. You can hear a bit more of the question, but don't confer. Originally called, How Does Your Garden Grow? Little Sex Heathcote. Garden's Question Time. It is Garden's Question Time. Well done. Your bonus is Middlesex to three questions on audio technology. Before the introduction of vinyl in the late 1940s, most 78 RPM gramophone records were made from which refined resins secreted by insects of the family Keridae? Shellac. Shellac. Correct. Based on a track, that's A T R A C, audio data compression, which music format had audio comparable to a CD but could be erased and recorded on? Featuring a magneto optical data storage format, it launched in 1992 but was discontinued in 2011. Mini disc. Mini disc. Mini disc. Correct. Quote There's no easier way to take your music along for the ride. These words are taken from an early advertising campaign for which device Walkman. launched in 1979? Walkman. Walkman is correct, yes, you say. Now let's start a question now. Which English monarch took part in the sumptuous event near Calais known as the Field of the Cloth and Gold? Middle Sex Heathcote. Henry VIII. Henry VIII is correct, yes. Your bonus is Middle Sex, three questions on the 1923 FA Cup final, the first to be held at the old Wembley Stadium. By what nickname has the 1923 final come to be known in reference to a striking photograph of mounted police attempting to clear the pitch after thousands of spectators spilled onto it before the match? It's the White Horse final. White Horse final. Yeah. The White Horse final. Yes, the unexpected crowd size was attributed to both the appeal of the new stadium and the fact that which London club, then in the second division, was competing in the final, the club's first? 
Tottenham. Tottenham. No, no, because we, we were never in the second division. Come on. Try Tottenham. 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 No, it's West Ham. Which club from the northwest of England would go on to win the final for the first time in their history, defeating West Ham 2-0? From the west of England? North West Bromwich Albion? No. West Bromwich, isn't it? Um, would it be Bristol? Bristol, Bristol City? No. no. Yeah, north West, isn't it? No. I don't know. Hurry up, come on. Just west Bromwich. West Bromwich Albion. I did say North West England. <laughs> It was Bolton Wanderers that we were after. Plenty of time, Bang. Let's see if we can get going again with this. Once you get on a run, you catch up pretty quick. Here's the start of the question. In organic chemistry, what is eight if four is methane and ten is butane? It is a clean burning fuel with industrial and domestic uses, including barbecues or portable stoves. Banger Dawson. Is it butane? No. Ah. Middle sex Heathcote. Propane. Propane is correct. The bonuses and middle sex are on Italian political parties. In each case, you may give the Italian or English name of the party. Which right-wing populist party's leader and co-founder, Giorgia Maloney, became Italy's first female prime minister in 2022? The party takes its name from the first line of the Italian national anthem. Oh, Forza Italia or something. Like something that. like that, yeah. Forza Italia. Forza Italia. No, it was Fratelli d'Italia, or Brothers of Italy. Which populist party was founded in 2009 by the comedian Beppe Grillo and entrepreneur Gian Roberto Casaleggio? In 2021, the party elected the former Italian Prime Minister Giuseppe Conte as its leader. I think it was the Clown Party. Yeah. The Clown Party. No, it's the Five Star Movement. Uh, briefly named People of Liberty, which centre-right party was founded by Silvio Berlusconi in 1994? That same year, in its maiden general election, the party took 21% of the vote, securing Berlusconi's first of four terms as Prime Minister. No, no. No, don't know. Don't know. Pass. That one was Forza Italia. <laughs> <laughs> Fingers on buzzers, here's another starter. And this is a picture round. For your picture starter, you're going to see a portrait. For 10 points, name the artist. Middle Sinks Heathcote. Tamara Lempica. It is Tamara Lempica, yes. <laughs> Following on from Sam Moritz by Tamara Dear Lempica, which you saw for your picture starter, your picture bonuses, Middle Sex, will be three more wintry portraits. And again, I just need you to name the artist in each case. First, this Italian artist. Arkin Bolden. I think so. Yeah, I think so. Arkin Baldo. Yes, Giuseppe Archimboldo. Secondly, this Scottish artist. Alan Ramsey. 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 No, that's Henry Rayburn. Finally, this artist. Is it Chagall? Yeah, I think so. Mark Chagall. Correct, yes. Let's start the question. Born in North Yorkshire in 1943, which actor's feature film roles have included Salvador Dali in 2022, Adolf Eichmann in 2018, Georges Méliès in 2011, Dmitry Shostakovich in 1987, and Mahatma Gandhi in 1982? Ben Neal. Ben Kingsley. It is Ben Kingsley, yes. <laughs> Everyone got it with Gandhi, didn't they? Your bonus is then, Banger. Three questions on people who share the surname Shepard. In May 1961, Alan Shepard became the first US astronaut to travel in space when he made a suborbital flight in a program named after which Roman god? Apollo? 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 No, it's Mercury. The American actor Sam Shepard was nominated for an Oscar for his portrayal of the pilot Chuck Yeager in which 1983 film about the Mercury program? Don't know. That's, That's the right stuff. A drawing by the British illustrator E. H. Shepard sold at Sotheby's in 2018 for £430,000. It was a map of which fictional location that featured in a 1926 children's book? Mm. Is it Narnia? Narnia. No, it's the Hundred Acre Wood. Another start of the question. I need two precise words here. In Rudyard Kipling's poem, If, what two categories of people appear in the line that follows, if you can bear to hear the truth you've spoken? The first group is said to twist the truth, the second to be trapped by this twisting. You may not confer. Buzz, if you had have a guess. Middle Sex Hepworth. It is knaves and fools. It is knaves and fools, yes. Well done. Your bonuses, Middle Sex, are on the electromagnetic spectrum. With a wavelength roughly between 10 to the power of 5 metres and 10 to the power of minus 3 metres, which are the longest waves on the electromagnetic spectrum? I've got no idea. 
plus radio waves with wavelengths between four times 10 to the power of minus seven meters and 10 to the power of minus nine meters, which section of the electromagnetic spectrum is mostly absorbed by the Earth's atmosphere and is known to have negative health effects? Gamma rays? Gamma rays. No, it's UV, ultraviolet. UV. With a wavelength of between 10 to the power of minus 11 meters and 10 to the power of minus 14 meters, what form of radiation has the shortest wavelength of the electromagnetic spectrum? Gamma rays. That is gamma rays, yes. Let's start the question. This is a quote. They experimented with everything, art, life, and love. They demanded poetry and painting, expressed lived experience and feeling, and searched for modern beauty. These words from the Tate website refer to which Victorian family who were the subject of a 2023 Tate Britain exhibition, subtitled Radical Romantics? Middlesex Heathcote. Oh. Sorry, it goes across. I need an immediate answer. Oh. Bangor Williams. Uh, Rossetti. It is the Rossettis, yes. Your bonus is banger. Three questions on playwrights and cricket. Which British playwright wrote No Man's Land, a play with a cast of four characters, Hurst, Spooner, Briggs and Foster, all of whose names correspond to Golden Age cricketers? It was first staged in 1975. The Wasteland. Try Alan Akebourne. Oh, Alan Akebourne? No, that's Harold Pinter. In which of Tom Stoppard's plays does a playwright named Henry deliver a monologue that compares the art of writing plays to the construction of a cricket bat? It was first staged in 1982? Pass. The real thing. To date, which playwright is the only Nobel laureate to feature in the pages of Wisden as a first-class cricketer? On his death in 1989, Wisden described him as one of the most important literary figures of the 20th century. Mm. Betjeman. Oh, Betjeman. No, it's Samuel Beckett. Answer promptly this time. Naming any two of the three authors whose works were published in the 1967 anthology The Mersey Sound and who formed the part... Bang and Eagle. Adrian Henry and Roger McGough. That's exactly right. Well done. Your bonuses, uh, Banger, are three questions on an Asian country. Perak, Pahang and Kelantan are among states of which Asian country? 2023 marks the 60th anniversary of its establishment under its present name, having gained independence from Britain in 1957. It's Malaysia, isn't it? Malaysia. Malaysia. Yes, capital of a state of the same name. Which Malaysian city was inscribed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2008? It shares its name with a major strategic waterway. Um, uh, Malacca. Uh, Malacca. Correct. Known collectively as East Malaysia, the states of Sarawak and Sabah are situated on which large island? Borneo. Yes, another solid question. Answer as soon as your name is called. And at the ground, Banger have 85 and Middlesex have 195. Bad luck, banger. You never quite got going. It, was, it just didn't quite fall for you in the start of the questions. And I think you were ever so slightly slower on the buzzer, which meant that you lost out on the bonuses. But um, at least you know your Malaysian geography very well. Which <laughs> <laughs> since that came about 25 minutes too late. Well, yeah. we've loved having you. Have you had a good time? Yeah, it's been yeah. great. Thank you. Really, really enjoyed having you. And you look terrific, which is the most important thing. Middlesex, my goodness, that was a strong performance. I think you swapped in a very strong player, haven't you? <laughs> Did you enjoy that, David? Well, no. <laughs> Well, you're going to have to have another go because you're coming back for the, uh, the final. I hope you can join us next time for the grand final of this year's Christmas competition. But until then, it is goodbye from Banger. Bye. Bye. It's goodbye from Middlesex University. Goodbye. goodbye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. And that final is tomorrow night at the earlier time of 7.30 here on BBC Two. Get ready for music night next night with the legend that is Aretha Franklin, coming up 